Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader with me, Bracket Dalton. Let's head to Grantis. Finally, maybe. <laughs> no, we're going to Grantis right now. We can do Calva Gamma after the fact. A ship's enforcers notified officers about a strange insect-like creature appearing on the astropathic chamber deck. The entity was destroyed, but the incident was recalled a few days later when one of the astropaths lost his mind, freaking about a splitting headache. The psyker perished shortly after. The autopsy revealed the presence of countless bloated larvae consuming his brain. The corpse and the insects were safely disposed of. The ship left the hostile immaterium and returned to real space. Keep your wits about you. It's as good as done. The Emperor is on our side. I'd rather not. Running by Eric Override. Remember the name. Let me check something real quick. Yeah, but it's considered a pistol. Vengeance will be swift. I fuck up for this guy, I suppose. Fate 
Faith without deeds is worthless. I can't even target that guy. That was good to soften everybody up, I suppose. <laughs> you only hit the barrel. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. The bold choice. I'm done with this one. I've got a prize. Uh, we can give Asko another turn. I don't think there's a reason to, though. We finish this guy off with Jai. In fact, yeah, let's do this instead. Tell me, and it is done. No, unless we miss. Oh, that at burning anyway. So let's just not <laughs> worry about that guy right now. I'll do instead, it. Instead. Is for the weak. I'll do it. Your lot. All right, Abelard, get to work once again. If I move over here, a tactically sound approach. It will be done. I took care of this one. I will do my gray hair, sure hand, indeed. My right, defensive stance. Victory is imminent. Someone else can do this. Right, in a pretty good spot. I feel like this is taking longer than it usually does. Rejoice in battle! As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Doubt is for the weak. God Emperor, move through me! 
be the fire in my heart. Get me a target. Let's see to it. At your beck and call. No matter the cost. A fantastic job, Abelard. Reduce to dust. It will be done. Indeed. Target well struck. Might took care of this one. Hey, quite the workout in swinging that big old sword around. Let us not dawdle. We couldn't give all of that stuff to the Fellowship of the Void. Well, let's wait. Let's get to Palladium Stellos first. I've seen that before. At least according to the great text. It's not optimal, but we have Extractiums to spare at the moment, so why not? And Xenotech here. Alright, to Governor's Camp. keep my options open I honor your motive force machine spirit I honor your engines might does it run all the way around isn't it no need for that I always have a backup plan Xenos got to the Runaways before we could. I doubt any of them are still alive. The body is lying face down, its crooked fingers clinging to the ground. This woman had her spine broken, and she was allowed to crawl in the vain, of, vain hope of escape. The dead noble woman is staring at the sky with unblinking eyes. Her fingers have been thoroughly broken, and a tangle of intestines lies atop her slashed abdomen. Always keep your eye on the prize.
The corpse is missing its eyes, nose, and lips. Judging by the maimed mouth, teeth and tongue were also torn out before death. Someone split the man's thorax open and turned his ribs inside out. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. The face and hands are twisted in a paroxysm of death throes. Victim's last moments are full of torment. Let us not dawdle. Attention to detail is the key to success. Is there money to be Trust made? Your eye there. last. You took your time coming to meet me, monkey. Xenos in ornate black armor turns his head to you. His thin pale face is covered in tattoos and blood spatters. After a moment, his thin lips stretch into a crooked, unpleasant smile. A couple of seconds pass before you realize that the elucidator is silent. Xenos is addressing you in low gothic. Hold your foul tongue, abomination. Such filth will not use that tone with the Emperor's Chosen. Abelard is white with fury. Why? I sent an invitation. By way of the cattle that dwelt on this world. And the Chosen has so obediently appeared. How are my words anything but the truth? Xenos tilts his head to one side. My, my. This beast can speak our language. Speaking your language is slightly less trying for my patience than being forced to listen to a monkey machine butchering our tongue. Besides, I want you to understand well what I'm about to tell you. How is it that out of all of your kind, you're the only one to discover our feasts in advance? Usually, you're all so slow and sluggish that my kin have always been enough time to leave the battlefield before aid arrives. But still, time and time again, your dogs have been there to stand in the Cabal's way. He pauses, waiting for your answer. That thing is perceptive. You hear the undercurrent of worry in Heinrichs's murmur. If a Drukari took a shine to me, Sherin, I'd know to expect nothing good out of it. You are too popular, even with your enemies. Jai shudders. Yeah, boy, take you, miscreant. Predictable. Boring. Xenos clicks his tongue. In any case, I have grown quite tired of your attempts to delay the inevitable. Surely you two have run yourself ragged, chasing us between the stars. Let us put an end to this. Finish this standoff. My forces against yours, once and for all. You wander among the stars, so you must know of this place. An ancient reach, where the echo of stellar agony rings still. A place that serves as a graveyard for old stars, still filled with residual emissions and glittering dust. The place that buried your wreck, stuffed full of delicious, frightened monkey, and the horrors that devoured them. The threshold of our domain. Your kind call it the Cinerus Maleficum. That is where our disputes will be settled. 
The Cabal of the Reaving Tempest will be waiting for you, monkey. Do not come unarmed. So my character has been working with an Eldar. I feel like it wouldn't be completely out of character to ask questions. And not so fast. I answered your question. Now you answer mine. The Xenos lowers his head pensively. What catches your attention is something else. A barely noticeable twitch of his fingers in his armored gauntlet. He's signaling to someone standing behind you. <laughs> Very well. Amuse me. Who are you? My name is Marajai Aziriash, Draken of the Cabal of the Reaving Tempest, First Blade to Lady Erimaris, Eviscerator of Illyridos, Blaze of the Barkag Kingdom, and Slayer of Karoshus the Pale. I keep hearing about an Archon. Who is that? Mistress of the Cabal, whose hunting grounds lie in this region of real space. It was she who ordered her subjects to gut monkey worlds in order to replenish the supply of meat in the cages of her arenas. Something isn't right here. An archon wouldn't miss an opportunity to lead a raid and revel in the violence and pain herself. What is she planning? Is this a distraction to mask her true intentions, or an attempt to get rid of her subordinate? Anorix lowers his voice. I suppose I should not have expected anything compelling from a monkey. Your questions breed boredom. The conversation is over. Alright. Attack. It's about time. Your kind has no right to Hey, we leveled up again. The sound of frightened prey. Tantalizing. Very good ways off, aren't we? That's not too bad. Oh, slip! The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. I can do that, with the right incentive. Am I getting paid for this? You will not withstand my vengeance! Nice. So, Incubi are really interesting a sub-faction of the Drukhari. They're actually, they're the only honorable Drukhari that exist. And they always uphold their, uh, they're a mercenary group. They always uphold their end of the bargain. Like, they won't betray their, uh, benefactors, which is very <laughs> unlike Drukhari. Drukhari are constantly trying to sabotage each other and trying to get one up on each other. Much like Skaven and Warhammer Fantasy. But the Incubi are always loyal to their patrons. Don't get too cocky. Let the true master inflict the pain!
The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! I'm gonna do something a little reckless with Argenta here. Faith without deeds is worthless. So natural armor. This creature's armor depends on the amount of its wounds. It has more than 70% of its total wounds, it has 55% armor. Uh, 70 to 40% has 40% armor. If it's less than 40%, it's down to 25% armor. Also always suffers plus 20% toxic and fire damage. Extermination. Any damage the character deals is increased by plus one for every attack they have made this combat. Does that affect... Uh, damage over time effects, bleeding, burning, or toxin. Bestial Rage. Whenever an enemy attack deals damage to this creature greater than 15% of the creature's maximum wounds, this creature gains plus 5 weapon skill and strength. The Blade Master. Blinded. Oh, these are the effects we put on. Exhilarating Speed. The creature's MP have been increased until the end of combat. Current MP 12. Power from Pain. Jukari gain plus 3 strength, plus 3 willpower, and plus 1 temporary wound for each creature suffering burning, bleeding, stun, or toxin effects in a 5 cell radius. Alright, we've seen that before. Probably all have the same stuff. Alright, so he has chased the prey. The creature moves across the battlefield to perform an extra attack against another target. Tormentor Aura, doesn't tell me what it does, and Blade Dance. Incubus strikes multiple times, each time choosing a new target. And command on the Sybarite. This creature grants its ally an additional turn right after its own. As the Emperor commands, I act. I will bathe this That's pretty good, because now she gets the uh, defensive bonus from this. And we can attack these three. My Emperor! Skill is lacking. Malice drives me. <laughs> My fate shields me. Master, inflict the pain. Naturally. Your reckoning is due for the throne's glory. I need a foothold. I'll see our foes obliterated. I'm done with this one. I won't object to it. Can't do a whole lot more here. Let's make some opportunities. I'll see to it personally. It's as good as done. All right, good job, buddy. Uh, let's but do this. Of course, Lord Captain. I won't object. Let's see to it.
momentum. I didn't see this guy over here at all. Can I hit him from here? No. As the tactical imperative dictates. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. I'll return the pain tenfold. The quest approved. I can do that with the right incentive. All right, can we? Well, let Pascal try first. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. Running by Derek override. There we go. Another resounding success. The dead warden is pinned to the ground with the blade of their own broken dagger. It is plunged right under their chin to ensure that the victim slowly choked to death. I always keep my options open. It looks like this warden died before he could even raise his weapon. The governor's body was masterfully disemboweled. His many implants were removed, after which, judging by the amount of blood, the victim lived for a while longer. I always have a backup plan. Always keep your eye on the prize. Ooh, Armor of the Undaunted. And Deadly Precision. So medium armor. All the wearer's attacking abilities cost plus one AP, but gain 20% critical hit chance. Hmm. Then base armor property, you get lore Imperium percent armor. And Deadly Precision. Single shot attacks with this pistol always score critical hits. That seems pretty good. Now, would I be willing to give her... I also found the embroidered cloak. It grants the wearer a plus five bonus to persuasion. Whenever the wearer is affected by an ally's ability, they gain 3% dodge until the end of combat. Stacks. I'm thinking this is better. I mean, the f stacking fellowship is great, but we're not always beside enemies. Tough call. I'm going to stick with the Rogue Trader's Cloak because it is more thematic. Now, as for this one... I mean, the Fire Plus Carapace is still a solid piece of equipment. We don't really need more critical hit chance, do we? I mean, the bonus armor would be great. Might be better on Jai, actually.
There's 174 lore Imperium. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty solid. That's a, that's a good chunk of armor. Lose agility and dodge against human enemies. Yeah, we'll go with that. And Deadly Precision. Maybe can't use this. Well, I don't think it's better than the Needle Pistol. Needle Pistol has better max damage. And armor penetration. Yeah, she doesn't need a melee weapon. All right. Oh, well, it works for me. Top down, and next time we will level up and return to the ship. Keep your wits about you. But for now, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.